Daniel spoke, saying, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven were stirring up the great sea. Here, there are a couple important things. Well, first of all, I wanted to mention, it's interesting and sad how in Judaism, they don't take Daniel as a prophet. The book of Daniel is not part of the section of the prophets, which is mainly like the true reason, before I say what they say, the true reason is the fact that Daniel said that Mashiach had to die, which is something that they reject. And he said exactly in what year and even month through certain associations that we do in scriptures in what year and one month he had to appear to die for our sins and he prophesied all that in chapter 9 of Daniel which we'll see in a couple weeks but the rest of the book not only prophesied about Mashiach his death the year and month about the second coming about how he's coming like a Gentile about the beast who will kill the second coming meaning one of the two witnesses or in this case both witnesses but in Daniel only speaks about the one as the prince of the covenant so the book of Daniel says a lot of important things is key like I say is pretty much the book of Revelation of the Old Testament there are way too many connections between the two books so Daniel and Yahuhanan also represent pretty much the two witnesses because of that revelation. In the Christian world, they are so afraid of the end that they don't read the book of Revelation. They are afraid of the book of Revelation. And in Judaism, because we find that Yahushua is Mashiach and they reject that. And therefore they rejected Daniel as a prophet and they say that he only had visions while he dreamt. Uh, while he slept so to them that is not like the true true prophecy he was a dreamer who happened to have some visions who came to fruition even though he prophesied all the empires that came from Babylon till the end which is what we are reading today and so many other things ahead of time Daniel had actually both types of prophecy because he would receive word from angels word from Yahweh visions while sleep while awake so Daniel was pretty much the example of a prophet yet in Judaism they use excuses to say that he is not a prophet a true prophet so they take him out of the book of the prophets so people don't take those prophecies so seriously plus they have a curse in the Talmud their oral Torah for anybody who reads Daniel 9 that they should be cursed if they read it and actually see the time that is being told by that chapter so something that Yahweh wanted to reveal to us they hide it under a curse for like prohibiting people from actually going and reading and realizing the Yahushua Samashiach by the numbers that we are given in Daniel 9 so they don't include Daniel into the prophets and we obviously know that he is a prophet so much so that Yahushua HaMashiach himself said when you see the abomination of desolation in the set apart place as prophesied by Daniel the prophet so Yahushua calls Daniel a prophet and Daniel is one of the most important prophets even the most important people in history and obviously among the Israelites he is one of the most important ones so much so that when Yahweh talks about three important people other than Abraham Isaac and Jacob three important people whose wisdom and merit could save the nation Yahweh mentions Daniel so it is amazing to find those little things regarding Daniel in Judaism to avoid people from reading what Daniel is prophesying about 